All right, guys, happy Monday. We're back at it. Um, you know, today the intention is to prime our system and get us ready for the week and not necessarily destroy ourselves on day one. That's what I'm saying now anyways. We'll see what happens when we get into this workout, but try to keep that somewhere in the back of your mind um, so you don't get too intimidated by the work that we're gonna do. And I'm not gonna tell you all of what we're gonna do until it's right in front of us. So there you go. Let's get warmed up. We'll sweep the arms back and up. Reach up nice and high, get a big stretch. And then we'll bring it down to the floor. Halfway lift. And back down. Let's go one leg back. We'll get our hips to loosen up by dropping them down to the floor. It's a great song, if you don't know this one, by Maluma. Definitely a... What, how to describe it? It's a sexy tune. There you go. <laughs> All right, we'll press back into Downward Dog. Well, let's tap into that Latin fire. Put this jam on. We'll spice up any evening. And step forward with the other foot. And move those hips around. Whoo! All right, the body's feeling pretty good. And we'll set the feet under us and we'll hang down to the floor. Halfway lift. Back down to the floor. And you can grab your elbows and we'll just swing. Left and right here in our rag doll. And keep swinging back and forth. I'm gonna double knot my shoes. Always get the hamstring stretch. And then we'll sweep the arms out wide. Bring them up tall, up top, get tall. And then we'll go down to the floor. Halfway lift, back down. One leg back, hands up. Put your hands up and we'll lean it to the side. Pull back into extension and side. Two more reps right here. You. And we'll go hands down, press back into downward dog. And let's pedal out the feet. Get those ankles to warm up and the calves as well. And now really press back through your palms, through your shoulders. Get your chest back toward your toes. And we'll shift our weight left and right. Yeah. And we'll step the other foot forward. Hands up. Lean it to the side and pull back. We'll go side and back and side and back. And last one, side, back. <sighs> Hands down as you step your feet under you. Halfway lift, down, and wide with the arms. Woo! <sighs> okay, now we're ready. Now we're just gonna get into it. Because I think that's, that's a warm enough. Warm enough, there we go. Because the first part of this workout is kind of like a warm up. So we're gonna do jumping jacks. Here's the general structure. We got some cardio intermixed with legs. For the first portion, cardio mixed with pressing, and then cardio mixed with abs to finish things off for our workout. It'll be fairly short, just an 18 minute workout today. Follow my lead if there's any movements you don't know when I call them out, uh, then just watch me for a moment. And I will also perform them before we get into it. So we're gonna get started in 10 seconds. So we'll go 45 seconds of jumping jacks to get started, 15 seconds rest. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Oh, this is so nice. Just gently easing into this workout. Let's breathe. Turn on your reggaeton jams like I am. 
or whatever music you prefer. About 20 more seconds right here. And I'll announce the next movement during our 15 second break. All right, so it's our primer day. But man, there's a decent amount of cardio thrown in to the mix. We've got lunges coming up next, just a standard lunge forward. And we'll alternate with each rep. Two, one, let's go. Lunge it out. And now we're just trying to get the legs warmed up. And the buns. So you can drive through that front heel and feel your glutey doing some work. Ha. Glutes and hamstrings right here. Try to get the, the work to come, instead of being in the quad, get it to come from the hamstring glute. You can do that by placing the weight toward the heel of that front foot as you drive back. Just a few more reps here. Two, one. Rest. All right, we're gonna go back to jumping jacks for our next round. All right, and we're going in three, two, one. Let's go jumping jacks. You guys will see a pattern unfolding very soon. Get that breathing under control. This reintroducing cardio, it's been a little bit of a challenge for me, but man, it feels good to do it a little more regularly. So I'll look forward to that this whole week, getting a little bit more of a cardio emphasis. Five more seconds. Who knew jumping jacks worked out your legs? Who knew? 10 seconds. All right, next one we got our squat jacks. So it's gonna be here, squat, in, squat jacks. Two, one, and begin. So you squat it, and then you jack it, squat jacks. And if you've done these plenty of times before, you wanna get a little more experimental. I conceived this earlier today and I want to try it out. It's a little one-legger, one foot, ha, you. It's working. We'll keep going with it. This is kind of 18 minutes, non-stop work, one, Rest, except for our rest. All right, we're coming back to the jumping jacks. This is the last time we're gonna do jumping jacks. So we'll try to ride it out the full 45. Keep that heart rate up. Two, one, begin. So we got one more leg movement coming up next. Now we're gonna make the transition to upper body pressing. Almost there. Make sure you're taking those deep breaths, not those shallow chest breaths. And rest, you want those deep, Belly breaths. Our last one is a double lunge. Lunge, lunge, squat, okay? Double lunge, squat. And begin. And you can also do it with a little hop transition, like I'm doing it. And that'll really get you, your legs lit. This is our last leg movement, so you might as well ramp it up if you're feeling good. Woo. Good coordination too. Balance. 
Oh, come on, 20 more seconds. Hmm. Let's take it there. Hmm. Let's go. Ah. Hi. Okay, our next cardio move is gonna be a lateral shuffle. We go one, two, three, high knees back across. Two, one, begin. So just go one direction. And this, determine how much room you have in uh, whatever space you're in. And no need to do these perfect, I don't know if I'm doing it perfect. The goal is just to stay moving right here. Try something new. Now we're gonna shuffle the other direction. Oh, well, high knee the other direction. Shuffle back. Two, one. Just trying out something new. I like that one. All right, next movement. Push up to downward facing dog. In two, one, begin. Lean over, push up, and press back. Woo! Mm. Show me your best push up here. Well, nice and smooth. 45 seconds is a long time. And really press back. Drop your head and chest back through your shoulders. With every rep. All right, we're gonna get back into our lateral shuffle to lateral high knee back. Whoo! Oh, it's gonna be a good one. One, three, two, one. Let's go shuffle. We'll try to go half the time in this direction. We'll try to spend about half the time going the opposite direction. You get those knees up nice and high. Let's go last one, and then we'll switch directions. So high knee that way, so high knee back. Now shuffle the other direction. Two, one. And rest. Whew. I like those high knees. I can see myself flinging sweat off my fingers. All right, next. We got lateral push ups. We do push up, step laterally, another push up. We push up, bring your hands together, over, push up. Together, back over, and keep going. Whew. Hmm. Just kind of pivoting in one spot. This is really where the work is gonna be done for our pressing right here. A lot of push-ups. You can accumulate in 45 seconds. Come on. There's the burn. Let's go less than 10 seconds. And rest. Ah. All right, we're back to our lateral shuffle. And then high knees. All right, guys, we're getting there. Two, one, and shuffle. High knees. Shuffle. The monsters are coming in. Whew. 
And then we'll go high knees back, and we'll switch directions. It's really all about these high knees. Shuffles are kind of a rest. So get those knees up high. One, and rest. Oh, all right. Last one we got is a ankle tap extension. Looks like this. Ankle tap extension. One, begin. So press my ankle tap extension. We'll spend half the time right here. Hey, Dookie. Half the time on the other side. Hey, hey. hey Kalei. Go after. after my workout? Yeah. yeah, maybe after my workout. Hey, hey Rocky. And we'll switch sides, guys. Other arm extends. You press back. Jump on, Rocky. Jump on. Two, one. That's right. And rest. Woo, that's right. So now we're going to do speed skater burpees. Go right, left, right. Burpee. So three speed skaters per one burp. One, begin. So go right, left, right, with the burpee. Here we go. Back. That's right, Rocky. Oh, now we're getting into the cardio. We're going deep. Chancy. Oh. Almost there, guys. One, rest. Oh, alternating V-ups coming up next. So we moved on to our ab. Portion, alternating V-ups. In three, two, one, begin. Ooh, I'm so used to doing these for just 20 seconds. Let's see what it feels like to keep it moving for 45. So nice smooth speed. 45 seconds is a long time to knock these out. So quick tap and then right back up. Let's go, primer workout. Rest. All right, speed skater burpees coming up next. <laughs> In two, one, begin. Run. <laughs> hey, look out, Rocky. Come on over here. So Uncle can work out. <laughs> Whoo! Could have got a little breather in there. <laughs> All right, guys, we're almost done. Now you're almost done with the whole workout. So keep digging in right here. Oh man, burpees are easy these days. All right, we got sit-ups coming up next. In two, one, begin. All right, we're just gonna rep these out. Three. There you go, now I'm starting to feel those abs. Keep going. 
We got 20 seconds left. <laughs> Kids are crying, it's all good. <laughs> I can't stop us from getting fit. Two, one, rest. Ah. <laughs> all right guys, speed skater, burpees. Last set of these, we got two minutes left in this workout. That's it. Two, one, begin. Let's go. Yes. Come on, what else you got? Go ahead and empty the tank. One, begin, begin, begin your rest. Oh. Guys, we're gonna finish with a 45 second plank of the highest quality. Two, one, begin. So palms up, pull them shoulder width apart, press through your arms, through your shoulders, crunch your abs, squeeze your glutes. Press, crunch, squeeze. Stay nice and tight, nice active all throughout the body. The forearms are pressing down, crunching, pressing. And enjoy this right here. We're almost there, about 10 seconds left. Salty, salty sweat. <laughs> well, isn't that good for a Monday? Huh. Great way to start out the week. Well, it's about to get better. <laughs> so we got some burpees that we're gonna do to finish off our, as a finisher for our, our time here today. So first type of burpee we're gonna do is a surfer burp, where you pop up, you do a push up, you pop up and you land low in your surfing stance, all right? So it looks something like this. One, two, and you'll go straight from that low position into your next rep. Yay! All right, catch your breath for a moment. A moment longer. We're gonna do five where you pop up always to the same side. After that, we'll do another five and we'll pop up with our opposite stance or switch for all my skateboarders and uh, snowboarders, surfers out there. So we're gonna start our first set in five and we're gonna do five reps. We're going three, two, one, and begin. Five surfer burps. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, it requires a lot of strength to really get that explosive drive off the floor. Now walk it out for a second. We'll do five reps facing the other direction. In five. And three, two, one, and begin. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Whew. I forgot to mention this is optional. You can partake in this part of the workout as much or as little as you want. It's kind of like extra credit. If you want it, it's there. All right, next we're gonna do a triple pump burpee. So he's gonna drop down, do three push push-ups, then pop up, jump and clap. So look like this. One, whew. We're gonna do five reps. And we're gonna build up that push-up volume starting right here. 
All right, five reps, we're going in five. And three, two, one, begin. So three pump, one, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up for two. Three. Four. Four. Oh, five. Sorry, five. All right, guys. We're going to come back to the surfer burpees. So take a little breather. If these push ups are really challenging for you, maybe do one solid strict push up. Maybe you can do two solid strict push ups. Or just follow my timing and stop whenever I stop. Any of those options is good. All right. We're going to do five more surfer burps. And we'll face the same direction for all five. Going in three, two, one, and begin. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, shake it off. Come back to the line. And we're going in five. Other side. Three, two, one. Begin. Four. Five. Ah. All right, walk it out. <clears throat> Next type of burpee we're doing. One of my favorites, Navy Seals. And here's what it looks like. Push up, knee drive. Push up, knee drive. Push up, up and clap. Whew. So, again, bring that push up volume up. We need five total reps of these in a row. Then we'll take a breather when we're done, okay? Let's get started a little bit sooner than we want to. We're going in five. Three, two, one, begin. Knee drive. Knee drive, and up for one. Two. Three. Four. Ah, five. Oh, these push ups are getting hard. All right, guys, I'm nearing the edge of my capabilities. This next set of surfers is for sure going to push me over the edge. So let's do it. Five surfers facing one direction. Then we'll take a little break. Then we got to even it out with the other side. Back to the line. We're going in five. And three, two, one. Begin. Five surfers. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, stay close. We're going in five. Three, two, one. Begin. Other side. Ah, come on. Two, three. Three, four, five. Oh, take a little rest. We're not done yet. Last one, guys. Now we're getting there. Ah. All right. Bird dog burpees for the finish right here. Let me demo one. Push up, arm and opposite leg, push up, other side, push up, up and clap is one. Now you may fumble with this at first, but you'll eventually get it. And we're just gonna have at it. Then we'll get into our stretch now and we'll call it. Okay, this is it, five reps and we're done. Whew, on the line, going in five, three, Two, one, begin. Bird dogs. Bird dog. 
Ha. Come on. Two. Ha. Three. Two more. Let's go. Ha. All you got. Four. Last one. Ha. And five. So much for priming day. Whoo! We might be feeling that one tomorrow. All right, guys, let's stretch it out. Let's do a little ab stretch. Get things started. Drop the hips down. Feeling my back even. Some tightness there. And sit back into child's pose. Just for a moment. We'll come back. Hips down, chest up. Ah. And sit back. And now step one leg forward. Ah. Move the hips around in here. Whew. So guys, maybe you can relate. In my household, I'm with my sister and my brother-in-law, my nephews, and my sister and I, we're good eating the same meal every single day. <laughs> but Freddie, my brother-in-law, and we'll press back into downward dog. Ooh, just for a moment before we switch to the other side. He's like, what? Hamburger meat again? <laughs> so like, all right. Maybe we can make our meals a little more interesting so that everyone can enjoy. And we can be happy eating healthy. Because it's hard to find good recipes. So I pulled out my Whole30 book, which I've never used yet. <laughs> and it's got a bunch of... of uh, the recipes in there. We'll keep moving those hips around. Let's press back in downward dog one more time. And bring the leg forward. Sweep the foot forward as well. We'll get into our pigeon. Upright for a few seconds. Three, two, one. And we'll lay it down. Uh, and so we fir first we checked out my sister's paleo. Paleo? No, it's keto cookbook. And there weren't any pictures. So we're like, screw this. Grab my Whole30 book. There's a picture for every single dish. And uh, man, that makes a world difference. So I found one, which is a, a shrimp curry with cauliflower rice. And so I'm gonna make that and I'll post it to my YouTube channel if you guys wanna see how it turns out. And if you have any other good ideas of healthy dishes for me, please send them my way. Whew, because I'm always looking for new ideas. And we'll switch. Other leg comes forward. Oh, sweatiness. Did I say shrimp curry? We're gonna do beef. <laughs> beef curry with cauliflower rice. And we'll lay it down low. Whew. 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 Let's go about eight more seconds right here. Let's enjoy this glute stretch. Two, one, and now come on up. Let's do this. We'll get into our lateral lunge, our Kazakh squat. Whoo, yeah. There it is. Hold for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and we'll switch sides. Oh, these hips, yeah. Whoo. We'll hold about 10 seconds here. You guys, a lot of people have been reaching out to me about these uh, exercise bands. So hit me up if you want the link. I just bought them off Amazon. You can buy any ones you want, uh, but I can let you know the specific ones I bought. And I bought this specific, specific set because it has a really thin one, which you can use for um, doing rehab on the shoulders. It's what I use it for primarily. All right, and we'll get into our squat stance. Let's drop the hips down low. 
We'll shift left and right. I also haven't advertised these as much, but I've got mini bands. Um, well, both these sets of bands. One of them is more for the shoulders and, and upper body, and, and I found a way to incorporate it in my workouts as well. So I'm, uh, it's kind of opened up a whole other dimension of, of exercises to do. So I really like the big bands. The mini bands I use primarily for lower body stuff, and uh, they're great for glute activation. So if you want to do squats with these mini bands on, oh, it's so good. It burns the booty uh, and just makes you feel really good for squatting. So. All right, now let's drop it down to the butt and we'll get a little butterfly action up in here. Press those knees down with your elbows. And three, two, one. We'll go feet down, get these ah, internal hip rotation windshield wipers going. Whoo, yeah. I hear Shakira and Nikki Jam. All right, and hands back behind you. Hips up in the air. Open your chest. And now reach your knees to the wall straight in front of you. Ooh, get that shoulder stretch and then come back. Let's do four more of those. And two more. Four. And five. Yeah. All right, and head on over to the wall. Yeah. Lightheaded, drop your shoulder in so you open up your chest. Oof. Eight more seconds. And five before you drop down low. And two, one, and drop down low. And use your hand for support. Just trying to change the angle of the stretch in that shoulder. In three, two, one. Woo! Other hand out. Drop the shoulder. Pull the chest open. Ah. Just after all those push-ups in the end. Three, two, one, and drop it low. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Both hands up against the wall. Head through your shoulders. Hold for 10. Three, two, one. Oh, all right guys, that is it. Happy Monday. I'll see you guys for Tabata Tuesday. And just so you know, what I'm gonna do now is my shoulder exercises um, using my bands. So if you have shoulder issues, I highly recommend getting a set and uh, I'm gonna be posting more videos of how to use them to heal and stretch your shoulders. All right, see you guys for Tabata Tuesday. Aloha.